In Layout, you can arrange different elements on your page by right or context clicking and sending the element in front or behind the other elements. You can also do this through the Arrange menu. However, you can also arrange elements on the page through layers and how the layers are stacked. Let's examine how this works. We have several elements on this page, so let's start by putting each on a corresponding layer. First, create the layers we need by clicking on the plus icon. Then, rename the layers by double-clicking on the layer name and typing in a new name. To assign one or more elements to a layer, first select the layer you want to use, then select the elements and write or context click on them and choose Move to Current Layer. We're going to do this in our example and match each element to its corresponding layer. Now, with our scene and layers set up correctly, click and drag the layer names up and down in the stack to see how it also changes the arrangement in the scene. Layers are more powerful than simply arranging scenes, so if we choose an element that is on the topmost layer and tell Layout to send it to the back, it won't be affected because it resides on the top layer. Only by moving the layer stack can you change the arrangement. However, Arranging elements is still useful to manage objects that sit within the same layer. Layers are also useful to lock objects. Click on the lock icon in the layers on the layers you want to lock, and it can no longer be selected or changed in the scene. You can also toggle the visibility of layers on and off by clicking the visibility icon. Any layer can be shared across multiple pages, so every page shows the elements from that layer. However, to best show this, let's take a moment to examine pages first. Pages can be added and deleted just as layers with the plus and minus icons. You can view pages as a list showing the page names or icon view showing the page contents. To rename pages, make sure you're in the List view and double-click and rename the page just as you did with layers. You can easily copy and paste objects between pages and quickly navigate through pages by clicking on the page name or icon. Or, you can also add page icons to your menu to move forward and backward through pages. As Layout has the capability to enter into a full screen presentation mode, you can remove individual pages from that full screen mode by toggling the presentation icon on and off. This other icon relates to shared layers. So let's return now to how shared layers work with pages. Let's say we have a multi-page document, and you would like the company logo and project name to appear on each page. Place the logo and project name on a specific layer and click on the icon to share that layer. Now, when we look through the pages of the document, they all show that shared layer, and if you change elements on that layer, those changes are reflected on each page. For this reason, you may want to lock this layer after it's in place. Although this works great for most of the pages, we do have a problem with the first and last page, which need a different logo treatment than the other pages. In Pages, toggle the icon for shared layers off to remove the shared layers from these individual pages. 